Travis, Jordan, how are you? Hi, Ms. Sheree. I'm doing great. Good. Well, I'm super excited that you're going to be teaching our first fine arts class this summer, which starts on June 15th through June 19th, the afternoon class. But before we get to talking about that class, um, give me a little bit of a story about you and why you started teaching art, maybe. Okay. Actually, the story can be kind of long, so I'll try to give the short of it. Um, I've always been an artist you know, ever since I was a kid. However, I only took one art class in high school. That was my oh, freshman wow. year. Uh, and the rest of the, the, the high school, it just, the, the courses I chose to take didn't fit it in. However, my senior year, I got back into drawing and looking at people and drawing them from like fitness magazines and drawing friends and drawing with ink just to give myself a challenge. And I even considered going into graphic design at different universities. But then I ended up going to South Houston State University because I was also into science and was thinking about majoring in biology. And my freshman year in college at South Houston, I went to this conference called uh, SALT with uh, Chi Alpha Christian. And I went to the speaker, like, if you're not using your talent, you're being prideful. And I was like, what? <laughs> so, I uh, went back to my advisor um, um, in the honors department and said, I'd like to switch to art. So I switched to art midway through my freshman year at some Houston awesome. State. I ended up um, majoring in um, studio art, minoring in art history in Spanish. And then after that, I was just trying to figure out, okay, what should I do next? And uh, was interested in traveling abroad, and but just stayed in Texas and worked even made my own artistic things as a barista at Starbucks. <laughs> so um, not just drinks, sometimes I did like their little, their, their boards um, uh, for display. And so, uh, but yeah, I started, they do have those chalk boards that yeah, I always yeah. wondered who did those because there's yeah. some talented people at work at Starbucks to do those chalk boards. Right. Yeah. And so, um, I had fun doing those whenever I got, they were given the opportunity to me. Uh, and so I started teaching um, art and Spanish at a private Christian school in Huntsville, Texas, mm -hmm. um, a year, a year and a half after I graduated. And from there on, it moved into full-time teaching of multiple subjects, but I would still teach art and everything on the side and would do commission paintings outside of work. Um, and then when I moved to Bryan College Station area, uh, some years later, um, <laughs> I decided, um, well, before that, I decided to go back and get my post back degree uh, for sure to teach within uh, a public school setting. And so wow. that, then I began teaching in Bryan um, and then took a little break from teaching for a while and then came back to College Station. But in between that time, um, I now teach at College Station High School, so it's really awesome. But in nice. between that time, I got to go to um, Bethlehem, Israel, and got to do some art with, with some awesome kids there, and that was amazing. And that's got kind of gave me a, a heart and a mind to go back into full-time teaching art. Um, wow. And I love where I teach at. I love my team, the other art teachers. I love my administration. I'm not just saying that. I really do mean it. So wow. I love my students that I get to each. Oh, so it's been really and the fun. students even with, I can tell too. Yeah. <laughs> even with all the weird COVID things, it was still it was still good. Yeah. Oh, that's so awesome. So let's get to starting of talking about your camp. So what we're going to be doing is the US five regions art roadmap, which sounds yeah. super exciting. Yeah, so yeah, so our first, on our first day on, on June 15th, we are going to go to the Northeast. So tell me what's going to happen with the Northeast Day. So the Northeast, there's so many artists who come out of New York, and I'm, try, I'm not going to try to highlight all the artists, but I chose um, this man named Jacob Lawrence, because one of his artworks just shows a lot of joy for individuals in a situation where they shouldn't be showing joy. Uh, mm -hmm. And so like, uh, we're going to look at that. We're going to look at the um, thing about dance and the human figure. Um, and then um, adding in the color to show that joy will also be included within that lesson. Um, okay. Joy is so important nowadays. You got to express that joy. I love it. I yeah. love it. 
Yeah. And then I'm hoping to end each day with like a big takeaway. And so I, th I think that's the big takeaway for that day. So I'll share so, that. I'll let the others be surprises. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, then you're going to move into the Southeast yep. region, right? Um, for Tuesday. Yes. So what's going to happen on Tuesday? So on Tuesday, we're going to meet, we're going to drive from New York and go down to Georgia, so to speak. Oh. Um, Alma Thomas and Jasper Johns. Uh, now, Emma Thomas, I think maybe I've heard her name before, but I looked at one of her artworks recently. And I was like, wow, this is beautiful. I want other, you know. So, um, so throughout our road trip, so to speak, we're going to be meeting some artists that are known and some maybe lesser known. So we'll be uh, checking them out and making art from um, different shapes. And um, some will be ge geometric, some will be organic, which those two artists, do have one is more geometric one is does have more organic tendencies so when they make their art wow yeah. i'm gonna have to sneak in on that see how that's going and then right. you're gonna travel to the midwest yes okay so we're gonna go hang out with someone who is very popular just because of um well grant wood uh, we're gonna go look at his art um he is most known for american gothic with the older man and holding the picture Fork and the woman, older woman mm -hmm. standing beside. Mm -hmm. But we're going to look at some of his other artwork as our sources of inspiration uh, for uh, representing the Midwest. And like I said, there's so much more I could pull from. But uh, I you know, bet, uh, I bet. And so then we're gonna we're gonna go to the Wild West, right? <laughs> yes. So out west, we're gonna go from Iowa to California, where we're gonna meet Wayne Seabold, uh, who I do believe is still living. I think he's like a hundred now. I just watched a video recently about him. Oh, wow. um, and he made a lot of um, art that's been um, termed pop art, but a lot of themes of cakes and ice creams. So <laughs> it's very um, summer for me. But also oh, okay. uh, Chiura Obara, who's a Japanese oh. artist um, from the early 20th century. Look at some of his work as well. And so it'll be, it'll be fascinating. Like I said, keep saying every region there's amazing artists so I bet that's right and so then you're going to end on Friday with uh -huh. the southwest southwest region yes yeah southwest we're gonna we're gonna look at Rebecca Salisbury James um Ooh. someone I stumbled across who I hadn't really known before and uh she was actually a friend of Georgia O'Keeffe so ah. uh, and her friend so they're both southwest artists but we're gonna look at the least known friend on this day. And then also a man from Texas, Arthello Beck Jr. We're gonna look at his oh, artwork as well. Right. We gotta have a Texas yeah. artist in there. Oh, I yeah. love it, I love it. So on each one of these days, those kids are gonna kind of copy some of that work from each artist, right? And so they'll yeah, kind of learn techniques of that particular artist and, and really dive deep into some of those. Yeah, so some of it won't be direct copies, and I'll leave room. For, I think I have some room for options for oh, kids nice. to venture out on their own creativity, to develop their own personal art skills as well. But we're going to look at them as models, and you know, to get the big idea. And then I'm going to let some the kids if they want to do something exactly like it, they can. But I'll also let them have some room for creativity. Um, and so. It would not be an exact copy of one of their paintings. That's for sure. Because <laughs> that would be but, but it's, too much it's one great day. to it's great to learn those techniques by looking at at someone else's work. Yeah. So yeah, and they can start developing their own skills and trying to figure out which direction they want to go as they grow as artists and and see which yeah. direction they would like to go. So what um, one question I love to ask people is. Why are the arts important? Oh, there's so many reasons. Okay. Yes. Well, there's that famous, I don't know if you've seen the famous quote or meme, maybe it's semi-famous, but it says, um, the earth without art is eh. Ah, <laughs> I like that. I, I'm so totally there with you. I like that. You can look around, you can see beauty and the light and the colors at different times of the year year a shade might of a tree might have a different color of blue than different times so it's a way of like teaching and describing people how to see around and be inspired um to create 
and not just what they see, but maybe even what's in their heart. And also art can be therapeutic for those reasons too. Oh, and, um, and it just, there's like, it helps. Um, I've seen it help a lot of people even calm down in situations or just like find a release of joy as well. Um, and so it's doing something creative because we were made to be creative. Mm -hmm. And then whether it looks perfect or not, and that's something in a learning process of learning how to let go of perfection. But that's yeah. another that's another talk. Uh, <laughs> For sure. Um, but yeah, so to um, capture the beauty that you see around you or to bring attention, a uh, way of communicating when you don't have the words quite so to do it. Yeah, what is it? Uh, a picture can say a thousand words without saying anything at all? Yeah, yeah. And um, I think art was like called, sometimes called visual poetry as well. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think so. Well, I'm super excited for your class that's going to be June 15th through June 19th. And you're in the afternoon, so 1230 to four. And if anybody wants to sign up, there's, we are limiting the class uh, size due to COVID-19 because we want to keep everyone safe. And we've got some policies and procedures in place that are also on our website. So if you want to sign up, just go to acvb.org and click on summer camps and you'll even see the other classes that we have available and the guidelines that we have. And please guys, if y'all have any kind of questions, just reach out to us and we'll be happy to answer it. And I know Miss Jordan, if you have some questions for her, just let us know and we'll get her to answer them for y'all. And so Miss Jordan, thank you so much for taking the time to talk about your fantastic fine arts class that we'll be having this summer. All right, thank you, Ms. Cherie. You're welcome. Awesome. Have a good day. All right, have a great day too.